Today we are going to look at the series of paintings from 1892 to 1893 by Claude Monet of the Rowan Cathedral in France, which is just one hour drive outside of Paris. Monet was an impressionist artist who took a more scientific approach to his art by not painting the specific items or structures, but more of the color and the light that creates them. Focusing on those two things would still create the image the viewer understood and clearly processed. The different lights and colors tell the story of the image and are capable of representing season, sunset or sunrise, and even the weather. Yet, even though the colors in the painting are very different, the brain still knows it's looking at a plain gray stone cathedral. Still not sure how color affects an image? Think about Instagram. How does choosing the right filter really change the vibe of your image? Remember the dress that went viral in 2015? What color did you see? Blue and black or gold and white? Color theory and the way the eye works with the brain to view colors and light can do some pretty amazing things. Before painting his 30 works series of the Rowan Cathedral, Monet first painted the cliffs at Etretat in a series of six focusing on different lighting situations to vary the work. This was the beginning of experimenting with the different lighting effects of weather and time. Starting in 1890 to 1891, Monet created 25 to 30 paintings of haystacks in a field. These stacks were painted during different hours of the day and during different seasons. He'd put one painting away as the sunlight changed and work on another piece that depicted the new phase of daylight. He would continue to rotate them out as the atmospheric conditions were matching that lighting effect for each painting. In 1892, Monet set up a rented studio above a shop where he faced the Rowan Cathedral. This is when he officially began painting the series most notable. He is quoted as saying that the sun's rays slowly dissolved the mists that wrapped the golden stone in an ideally vaporous envelope. He was mesmerized how the sunlight and vapors in the air could do so much to the appearance of the church in front of him. The theory and idea on the series is keeping everything constant, yet varying just one element. In this case, it is only the lighting of the scene which affects the colors. It seems to change everything. The facade of the cathedral made for an interesting subject to paint. Cathedrals are all about shadow and light and the surface has so much texture and relief. It has an extreme amount of factors to pick up and work on as a model. Its variety in arches, steeples, relief sculptures, and gothic features are a dream for detailing all the light and dark in his way. The weather, fog, sun, and darkness can all create amazing variations for the eye. It's an excellent subject matter. From February that year until only April, he had painted approximately 14 of the paintings for his series. The following year, he got back to work after a short break. He struggled at completing the paintings, as he noted in letters to his wife back home, but was able to finish many. In 1895, he finally exhibited 20 paintings at Duran Ruel's and sold each one of them for a whopping 15,000 francs. Let's take a look specifically at the piece, Full Sunlight, Harmony in Blue and Gold. All the paintings except for one were with the same viewpoint as this. This particular one was during the hour of the day when the sun was fully risen, casting shadows really accentuating the deeper shaped doorways and architectural details of the facade of the cathedral. There are no solid lines or uses of black. All the colors were mixed to keep them dynamic and the paint had relief to show true brush strokes and almost work as architectural details themselves jumping off of the canvas. The shapes and highlights all work harmoniously to define. The images all work as light variations. The flatter surfaces were washed out with this bright west facing light while the deeper areas had shadow. Throughout this series, Monet had succeeded at giving the sense of all the visions in reality one can have looking at even the same structure throughout their lifetime. Light and color change to even our own eyes, and he really worked to make us aware of this phenomenon and to really appreciate its beauty.